hello everybody. It's a framing video. A not such a train wreck tutorial. Yeah, this one went kind of okay. Better than most. But um, it's pretty simple. It's, you know, anyone could do it. But, um, okay, anyway, um, yeah, check it out. She, she looks good. It's a mermaid. What are you doing? I'm savoring this moment. <laughs> Why were you filming me? Just because I could. Okay, bye bye. Okay. So that was fun. All right. We're going to get this thing in a frame because I got to work tomorrow and I need it off my desk. So, uh, yesterday we sealed it and um, the uh, bubbles, eh, for the most part, they're okay. I did end up futzing with it a little bit last night, poking some bubbles with the tweezers and and I got carried away. And down here, you know, it was thick and I was picking at it and don't, don't do that because it comes off like, you know, peeling off like, you know, glue on your hand or nail polish or whatever. And it starts to flake and you could see right where I did it. And I'd used up all the glue, of course. I feel a loose drill. It's a shitty one right there. Anyway, we're going to leave that alone. So I ended up busting out the clear nail polish to kind of glue it back down but you know whatever so I had gotten this floating frame for her um to sandwich her in the glass and um I'm thinking I'll double check it but I think I'm just gonna be cutting off the entire uh over um, canvas beyond the diamonds. So let me get you set up and we'll get started on this. All right, so let's get the, uh, the frame unpackaged and test this out real quick because we're running out of daylight. Actually, it's more because I want to, uh, I'll show you all the painting Quinn bought for me to do for him. And that's a separate video. Okay. And anyway, let's see here. Flip this thing over. And it is plexiglass, not regular glass. So, gotta be careful we don't scratch it all up. 
hopefully the inside is clean. I hate cleaning glass. And actually, I probably don't even need to take that off. Nobody's going to see it. So, let's do this. Let's move this frame out of here. And I'll just hand to that. the canvas down to uh, the size of the plastic. Let me grab my scissors. Man, I wonder if I'm going to draw a line and do it that way rather than, yeah, probably. Center it on there. Turn it sideways so I can reach all the sides and get it centered. good. And grab a pen. Looks like it's gonna be just fine. Okay. So flip this back over. And we're sandwiched in there.
There we go. double check before I put the whole thing together. It's come down a little bit toward the bottom. Oh, just a tiny, tiny little bit there. Okay, so it's just a little wonky. I think we're going to use a little washi tape on it just to cover it, make it a little less uh, precise. So let's pick out some coordinating washi tape. And I've got, uh, I've got quite the collection here. Um, Vicki had sent me all of this, including the container. So I tried to organize it kind of by color or type. Um, and I want something more solid. So like this might be good. Just a solid teal. What else do we have that would look good? Um, it's kind of cool, but a little busy. And florals. So I think we're going to go with just a solid. I mean, this would be pretty too, I suppose. That's kind of pretty too. Maybe we'll use that one. Can you see it? With the light? That's pretty. So, yeah, we'll use the pretty one. I'm thinking, because these do have a tendency to sag, I'm hoping with them sandwiched in between two pieces of plexiglass that I don't need to worry about that. But since I have to tape it anyway, I'm kind of thinking of wrapping the tape around the um, plexiglass to just kind of give it a little extra oomph to hold it in place.
But I guess not measuring, huh? And I learned this little trick from Jennifer yesterday. She did a video on sealing. She used her fingers. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good idea. And then with the washi tape, she said, because your fingers take away a little bit of the tacky to go past it. So we'll do that. Thanks, Jennifer. And... Get my glass back. Fake glass. Where it's supposed to be. And there we go. Let's see here. I think that's pretty good. Let's double check the back side. Keep it on. It's probably going to show through. Hopefully, it's not going to show much with the uh, frame. Let me just take that down. I kind of ran it up the side of the diamonds too. Probably a mistake. But, oh well. I'm going to go just past and cut it off. Alright, now. Bring it that way. Edge of this, am I still even down here? Not really. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna get it. Probably should have done it that way. We'll fix it later. Fix it where I ran it up the diamonds. I'm having a bad feeling about that. Okay. There we go.
Now it's taped in place. Let's fix this side. Probably should even use a fresh piece. Yeah, we'll just flip it over. So in my particular case, it just barely goes over the edge of the plastic. Kind of help hold it once it gets all squished inside that frame. And Should I use the other tape? Oh, maybe it won't show. Sides done. During the premiere of the ceiling video, a couple questions that I had were, will this sealer yellow over time? I don't know. Um, I joked that that's an antique patina. And uh, I was asked why I don't just use the applicator tip of the glue bottle. And my reason was because it was much smaller than my paintbrush. I couldn't get as much done as quickly. But after watching Jennifer seal it by using her fingers to rub it in, I'm thinking if I ever have to do another one this way, that is why, that is probably what I will try. It's just using my fingers since it's water-based and just wash off with soap and water. But, uh, yeah, the only reason I even sealed this is because it was such a piece of crap that all the diamonds were popping and everything, and I was wanting to try to avoid having stuff falling off of it while it's framed. Um, only because I do love the image, but it's a total piece of shit. Oopsies. Dragonabbit. it. That didn't turn out well. Let's see. 
Evet. Alright, that should do it. Now I'll just cut this off. After I stab myself. Alright, now, let's take a moment of silence before we try and get this in the frame and see how it looks. You know, I don't just do things once, I gotta do it like three or four times. Alright, let me throw this garbage away real quick. Alrighty, here we go. <clears throat> This stuff, I'm just going to clean it after it's all put together because it's too difficult with it being so flexible to do it now. Get that in here. And... All right. Now you, darling. prayer okay. and then this little spacer Players or something to get that up. Let's see here. Oh, I got a hand laying around. I gotta get in that drawer. Mm. I have no call. Better put her in there the right way. Yes, okay, thank goodness. Yeah, I shouldn't be using scissors for this. I should be using pliers or something that's not so damn sharp. it out, see how it worked. 
looks pretty good. I can see a tiny little bit up there, but might be once I get that on the wall, I probably won't even notice it. And the bottom looks good where you're going to see it because you're looking down versus looking up into the top. So I need now to find a spot to hang her and we'll step back and look at it. So give me a couple moments to figure out where I'm going to put her because I am running out of wall space in here and she's a big one. So, hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking over there and move my magnet board somewhere else. So let me take care of that and we'll be right back. Okay, I, I, got, I got them hung. This is my hammer. And I use these nails. I like the ones that have the big head on them to kind of catch the either the the cord or wire or the frame and not have it slip off anyway she's over here and a little higher than I wanted but I just reused the nails that were already there but looks okay still have room for something there small and I moved my board over here because if the door is open it's hidden behind the door and yeah so that's where we're at okay anyway um it is now nearly six o'clock and I've now got two videos to edit and load so I better get going with that because I also have to show you the painting Quinn bought. So I hope everybody's still doing okay, hanging in there, um, keeping your sanity and your distance. Keep your distance. And love y'all. Bye now. Okay, so that, that total piece of shit is Finally, finally completely finished. Until it falls apart. And then it's getting burned. It's going to go in the burn pile. Yeah. No, toxic waste. Okay. Anyway, next up is going to be a um, uh, reveal of what Quinn chose for himself for his, his decor in his college apartment. Let's see what kind of taste that young man has. Okay. See you in the next one, guys. Bye. Ah, my tongue's red. Jolly Ranchers. Thanks, Vicki. Okay, bye.